And finally, I offer my pranam to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas. By the Kosas Masal Shri Guran Goranga, this evening we'll go to the lotus feet of Tolta Gopinath, the Saivita Bigraha, the deity of Krishna served directly by Sri Gadara Pandit himself. Sri Gadara Pandit was born as the son of the great Brahmin Madhav Mishra and his wife Ratnavati. In the village of Balati Gram in the district of Chittagong, which is now modern-day Bangladesh. After some time, his father was employed as a court pandit in the court of Maharaj Surasain, the king of Kandy. So because of this, the, his family then moved to uh, Bharatpur. So the Sri Pat of Gadara Pandit is there in Bharatpur. One of his
his disciples named Nayananda Thakur, who also happened to be his nephew, his descendants take care of the Sri part of Gadara Pandit there in Bharatpur. And there is a deity of Sri Krishna worshipped by Gadara Pandit since his childhood. Gadara Pandit used to, he was small, used to carry him in a bag and wear him around his neck all the time. So, also there at the Shripat of Gadara Pandit is the um, Bhagavad Gita of Gadara Pandit that he used to study and in the margins there's the actual handwriting of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. So, Ch Ch Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wrote in the margin how many verses of Gita are spoken by Sanjay, Dhritarashtra, Duryodhan, Arjun and Krishna and gives the numbers of each personality. How many verses each has spoken? And when you add them all up, it comes to five more verses than the Bhagavad Gita that we have today. So then, the scholars were very eager to know what were the five verses that were accepted by Mahaprabhu and Gadara Pandit to be part of Gita eh, that we don't have today. So they went to Bharatpur to discover from that manuscript but when they opened it, then all the palm leaves began to fall apart. So no one, no one will ever know unless in their samadhi, in their trance, they hear Gadada Pandit giving class on those verses. So, when Kadara Pandit was about uh, 12 years old, his uh, family moved to Navadvip Dham and uh, we went to his house. It was just next, next to Srivas Thakur's house in Navadvip. So, Nimai Pandit and Gadara Pandit, from their childhood, they were inseparable. They didn't want to spend a moment without each other. Gadara Pandit was a, a couple of years younger than Nimai Pandit. And he used to honor Nimai Pandit very much. He used to sleep in the same room at night. In the morning he would decorate Nimai with garlands of flowers and sandalwood paste. So, Gadara Pandit from his childhood, he was very devoted to Krishna, but as you know, Nimai Pandit, he was very busy up to the age of about 15 in his Vidyavilas, educational pastimes. <laughs> 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 
с раннего детства, когда для пандит был преданным Кришна, он поклонялся Кришне, но, как вы знаете, не мой пандит, он был предвзят грамматикой, логикой, поэзией, то есть до возраста 15 лет он не совершал никакого преданного служения, он только изучал разные And he used to try to involve курсы. The devotees in wrangling logical arguments. So one day, Nimai Pandit, he said, Oh Gadada, can you define the symptoms of mukti liberation? <coughs> According to Shastra. So, Gadada Pandit, he quoted from the Sankhya Pravachan Sutra. Three Vrigvidha Dukha Atyanta Nevriti Paramapurushataha Mukti. That means that Mukti liberation is the highest goal of life and it involves the complete and absolute mm, removal of the threefold miseries of material existence. So, this is the Definition according to a nyaya, logic. This is why people study nyaya, logic, vaisheshik, sankhya darshan. All the six classical philosophies, they study them because they all have one thing in common. How can we become free from suffering? Existential suffering. Not like modern ignorant society where we live in denial that we're all suffering and we're all going to grow old and all going to die. Just forget that and everyone tries to enjoy. This is very low level of awareness. A real human being tries to discover the solution to the problem of suffering. And those who are like animals, they have rag and dwesh, attachment and envy. They are attracted to very petty and whimsical worldly pleasures. And they are so envious that uh, as long as they see, well, everyone else also has to grow old and die, then I don't mind. So, all the classical philosophies are an attempt to answer this question and solve this problem. But at that time, Nemai Pandit refuted the statements of Gadara Pandit by quoting from the commentaries of Madhvacharya. He said, Vishnavangri Labham. No, the attainment of the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu is actual mukti liberation. Every Atma, every soul is by nature see Krishna's servant. And when they are situated in their Atma Dharma, their true nature, 
they attain very beautiful spiritual forms and they directly serve the lotus feet of Supreme Lord Sri Vishnu. This is the goal of life and that is true mukti liberation. This is the conclusion of Srimad Bhagavatam. Mukti hitvanyata rupam swarupena vyavyastiti. Liberation means to give up all external designations of the body and mind, temporary uh, changing forms, and attain, attain one's eternal swarup. Способность отвергнуть все явники, с которыми мы себя отождествляем, то есть с грубым, с тонким телом, и пребывать в своей вечной духовной природе, и действовать в соответствии со своей вечной духовной природой. So, when Mahaprabhu was about 15 years old and his father passed away, you know he went to Gaya. И как когда читали Махапрабху уже было 15 лет, Джаганат Мишра, его папа, And when he came back, he was overwhelmed with bhav by the mercy of his guru, Sila Ishwara Purimad. And the, the following morning he went to the house of Shuklamba Brahmachari to meet with all the devotees. And when he saw the Vaishnavas of Navadi with their beautiful tilak and the Tosi Kantimala, then he became overwhelmed with love and he was crying. Krishna, where are you? Krishna, where are you? After his initiation, these were the only words on his lips. Where is Krishna? How can I find Krishna? После инициации, которую он получил у Ишвара Пурипада в Каи, единственные слова, которые исходили из уст Нимай Пандит, это было Кришна, где же Кришна, как мне его найти? And that column broke and he fell to the ground. And the Mahabhav of Nimai Pandit was so powerful, all the devotees watching also fainted and fell to the ground. Everyone was unconscious. Except for Ganga Devi. Who was flowing nearby, the goddess Ganga was watching and smiling. <laughs> Very pleased that now the pastimes of devotion, Anupama Bhava Vilas, incomparable pastimes of devotion of Nemo, Nemai Pandit had begun in Navadu. <laughs> When Mahaprabhu came back to sense, he said, For a moment I saw Krishna, but because of my offenses, he has gone away, I have lost him. 
когда мне мой пандит пришел в себя, он сказал, такой полет, на одно мгновение я увидел Кришну, но из-за всех моих бесчисленных оскорблений он тут же скрылся от меня. Then he heard someone crying from inside. Mahaprabhu said, who is that? The devotees told him, it is your Gadadhar. <coughs> so Nimai, he went inside and saw Gadadhar weeping there. He took Gadada Pandit by the hand and said, You are so fortunate your whole life you serve Krishna, but I wasted my time in futile academic pursuits. So Gadada Pandit was very expert at speaking to Nimai Pandit in such a way that his madness of separation became pacified and he would not hurt himself falling on the ground here. Сачимата requested Гадада Пандит to always stay with her son. Once Nimai Pandit was passing nearby his home and one old scholar of Srimad Bhagavatam named Ratnagar Bacharya was reciting verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. And Nimai Pandit began to tremble and weep. And he requested, go on chanting, more, more. And Mahaprabhu was fainting and rolling on the ground. At that time, Gadada Pandit requested Ratna Garvacharya, please, now that is enough, please. Mm. I have to take him home. So Gadada Pandit was taking care of Nimai in this way. With the sensitive, sensitivity to his various moods. So eventually when Nimai Pandit told Gadada that of his desire to take sannyas, then Gadada Pandit became upset. What kind of religious principle is this? To abandon your mother when she's elderly and helpless. Where, where in the Shastra is it written that you can attain Krishna Prem by cutting off your seeker and giving up your Brahmin thread? But you are Swatantra Ishvara, independent Supreme Lord, you may do as you wish. So after accepting sannyas, his mother Sachimata said, Oh, don't go very far away to Vrindavan. You should just go nearby to Jagannath Puri because Jagannath Puri and Navadweep are like two rooms in the same house. Because often the devotees of uh, Puri they go to Navadip to take bath in the Ganga and often the devotees of Navadip would go to Puri to have the darshan of Lord Jagannath 
So there was always news coming back and forth. So being controlled by the love of Sachimata, that now Nimai Pandit, who became known as Sri Krishna Chaitanya, he came here to Jagannath. And he stayed in the house of Kashi Mishra. And we'll go there perhaps tomorrow. Gadara Pandit also came here to Puri and took a vow of Ketra Sanyas that I will never leave. Because other residents of Navdeep when they were coming, Mahaprabhu was sending them back. But he did that because Mahaprabhu would never give an instruction which would break up, cause a person to break their dharma, their vows. Oh, and to honor the request of Satchimata also to always stay close to him. So this place where we are staying is a big sand dune. Это место, на котором мы сейчас живем, это огромный песчаный холм. Called Chatak Parvat. Это огромная дюна песчаная, называется Chatak Parvat. And Mahaprabhu, seeing this hill, he used to think that he was seeing Govardhan. Глядя на эту песчаную дюну, Махапрабху считал, что он смотрит на Гидираж Говардан. And oh, just here, on the southern side of the hill, there is Yameshwar Tot. That is the orchard of Yameshwara Mahadev and Gadara Pandit would stay there. So because our inclination is more towards Radhika than to Krishna, so we are staying not in the Gambira, but we are staying here next to Gadara Pandit. <laughs> И Гадада Пандит жил там в этом саду. И так как мы склонны больше служить и быть рядом со Штамати Радикой, они с Кришной, поэтому мы живем тут, рядом с Ямешаратотом, а не рядом с Гамбирой. Чайтанны кьям пакатам мадуна татвоям чайкьям аптам радхабаб дюти сувалитам номи Кришна сварупам. Чайтанны мапу из Кришна сваруп, one form of Кришна, who is uh, ornamented with the sentiments and complexions of Radhika and Gadara Pandit is Radhika herself who has come to serve Krishna in this special Bhajan Lila. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the same Krishna, украшen by the emotions and the color of the body of Radhika. And Gadara Pandit is the same completely the body of Radhika who came to serve these Lila so Gadara Pandit would stay just here and we'll walk there after that. So there are many beautiful instructive pastimes of Gadara Pandit. Once from Chittabong. A devotee came to visit Navadvip. His name was Pundarik Vidyanidhi. So Mukunda, a close associate of Gadara Pandit, knew him and said, Come and meet this great Vaishnava. So when Gadara Pandit was on the way, there to meet him, his 
Heart was full of expectations. Today I'll meet a great Vaishnava. И такой Гададар Пандит чувствовал такое воодушевление, он прямо бегом бежал на встречу с этим возвышенным Вайшнавом, такой прилетный, думал, сегодня мне посчастливится увидеть такую возвышенную личность. But when he arrived there, he saw that Pundarik Vidyanidhi was lying on a soft bed with pillows and sheets as soft as the foam of milk. Но зайдя туда в дом, в котором остановился Пандарик Вейдянитхи, когда Рапандит напрягся, он увидел, что Пандарик Вейдянитхи возлегает на таком шикарном диване, украшенном шелковыми простынями, мягкими, мягче, молочной пены. Dressed in the finest silk and jewels. Он был очень дорого одет в такие. His hair was decorated with fragrant oil. He was chewing pan and spitting in a golden spittoon. He was surrounded by servants who were fanning him. And Gadara Panik thought, what kind of Vaishnava is this? <laughs> he is a gross sense enjoyer. So Mukunda could see the disappointment on the face of Gadara Pandit. So he devised a way to reveal the actual devotional stature of Pundarik Vitanity. So Mukunda was a great singer. And he sang a verse of Srimad Bhagavatam. After Krishna had left this world, then Uddhav was crying, Oh, how can I surrender to a person more merciful than Krishna? When Krishna, he gave praying, he gave eternal position of a nursemaid like a mother in Galok, even to Putana, who came with wicked intentions to poison him. После того, как Шри Кришна ушел из этого мира, завершил тот свой лилы и стал непроявленным, Удава, сокрушаясь, молится, он говорит, где мне найти, кому мне предаться, где мне найти личность более великодушную и щедрую, чем Шри Кришна, который даже uh, дал Кришна прему ведьме, демонице Путане, которая пришла с намерением отравить его, и он дал ей Кришна прему и возможность вечно служить ему. Hearing this description of the goon, transcendental qualities of Krishna, especially his causeless mercy, the qualities of Krishna immediately manifested in the heart of Pundarik and he became mad in ecstasy. He began roaring, Krishna, Krishna! He knocked the pillows off his bed. He tore open his silk shirt. He kicked over his gold spittoon. He fell off the bed and he was rolling on the ground and was unconscious. Then Gadaga Pandit told him, Oh, I made a terrible offense. I criticized the great Vaishnava in my mind. How can I become free from this offense? Only if I take shelter of him and become his disciple. Then he may be pleased and I'll become free from the offense.
So Gadara Pandit was never independent from Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. So he told Mahaprabhu what happened and Mahaprabhu gave permission. Mahaprabhu Nik Pagadara Pandit Nikata ni Prinimal Nikaki Zavisimak Nizavisimak Rishani on Polish to Pasum Savietal Sishani Mahaprabhu. Yon Pasul Tuju Pasavietovatsa then Gadara Pandit surrendered his life at the feet of Pundrik Vitinidi and received Diksha initiation. Gadara Pandit is incarnation of Radharani, who is qualified to become the senior and initiating guru of Radharani. So Pundarik Vidyanidhi is the incarnation of Radharani's father in Krishna Lila, Vrishubhanu Maharaj. <laughs> so the relationship is very natural. Oh. When it, when the devotees were in Navadvip and it, the time was coming for Radhastami, then uh, Nimai Pandit he used to say, Oh, tomorrow we'll all go to the house of Pundarik Vidyaniti and celebrate Radhastami there. <laughs> and all the associates of Mahapu, uh, they would dress up as Gopals and they would do Abhishek of the deity of Radharani in the home of Pundrik So this pastime is very instructive to us. The teaching is this, that we cannot recognize who is a great Vaishnava by our material sense perception and mundane calculations? We can infer something by seeing a person's ruchi, taste, in chanting the holy names and Harikata. But ultimately, we can only recognize a great Vaishnava by that Vaishnava's mercy when they reveal within our hearts their transcendental position. Only being in proximity is actually not sadhu sangha. Srila Bhakti Nautaku said, Chaya Satsanga De Oyama Bosichi Songira Ashi. Oh Vaishnav Thakur, I am sitting down beside you and begging for you to give me the six types of holy association. They are the six types of exchange of affection. Or two, give gifts and receive <coughs> gifts. Two, mm, give prasadam and uh, receive prasadam to reveal the mind in confidence and to uh, inquire, mm, hear some confidential instruction. These are the six exchanges of love that constitute the satsanga by which the Swarup Shakti, Krishna's internal potency, is transferred from the sadhu into the heart of the conditioned soul, thereby the driving away the influence of Maya, liberating him from this world and inviting him to enter into the transcendental plane. <laughs> способов общения с вайшнавами это 
дарить подарки, принимать что-то от Вашнава, угощать просадом, почитать просад, открывать свое сердце, рассказывать что-то сокровенное, делиться, то есть полностью исповедоваться во всем и также получать сокровенные наставления от Вашнава. Вот эти шесть видов общения помогают изгнать влияние иллюзорной энергии из нашей жизни и возвысить нас. Ей бодро шей бода абакта хи нача, кришта бакти нахит джати кула дивича. In Chaitanya Tharamita he said that one who is doing bhajan is great. Chaitanya Tharamita сказано, тот, кто совершает bhajan, он великий. All the non-devotees, they are completely worthless. Он очень возвышенный, а все непреданные, они вообще ни к чему, ничего не стоят. They cannot help us at all. А обыватели никак ничем нам помочь не могут. They are also doing prachar, preaching on behalf of Maya. Они тоже проповедники, только они проповедники от от Майи. To take us to Narak to help. Они тянут нас за собой в ад. So. In the realm of Krishna Bhakti, there is no consideration of birth, caste, creed. Krishna Bhakti nahi jati kula di vichar. In the realm of Krishna Bhakti, there is no consideration of birth, caste, creed, Krishna Bhakti nahi jati kula di vichar. In the realm of Krishna Bhakti, there is no consideration of birth, caste, creed, Krishna Bhakti nahi jati kula di vichar. In the realm of Krishna Bhakti, there is no consideration of birth, caste, creed, Krishna Bhakti nahi jati kula di vichar. То есть мы не можем ценить, судить Вайшнава по этим факторам. So, Godada Pandit, every day he was remembering the mantra given by his Guru Dev. Каждый день Godada Pandit памятовал мантру, которую ему дал Guru Dev. So the wonderful thing about the Diksha mantra is that when you remember this mantra, gradually, gradually, just as the moon from the dark moon becomes a full moon, so in your heart this mantra gradually does the prakash. Illuminates the heart and gives a vision of Brindavan Yoga Beach. И дикша мантра обладает удивительной силой, подобно тому как луна от новой луны до полной луны постепенно растет, каждый каждый день понемножку понемножку увеличивается в размерах. Таким же образом эта мантра постепенно постепенно дает нам откровение имени Кришны, формы Кришны, качеств. You will hear Narad Muni playing on his veena. Со временем вы услышите игру Нарада Муни на вине. And it feels as if nectar is raining from the sky, seeing the beauty of Radha Govinda sitting on a jewel throne beneath the kadamba tree. И вы увидите неописуемую красоту, непостижимую сладость Радха Говинды, которая восседает на в золотом троне под деревом Кадампа, и вам будет казаться, что вы стоите, обываетесь в водопаде Нектара. Accepting the service of their beautiful lotus-eyed sakis. И служа под руководством их лотосороких саки. So Gadada Pandit every day he was remembering mantra and realizing this. Каждый день Gadada Pandit памятовал свои мантры и осознавал вот эти секретные секреты. Then one day he said to remember, but no realization was coming, no unbelief. Он сел памятовать свои дикша мантры, но ничего не приходило в сердце. So he went to Mahaprabhu and expressed his concern. Он очень обеспокоился, что происходит, почему нет никаких откровений. Он пошел посоветоваться с Читанием Махапрабху. Читанием Махапрабху said, Did you discuss your mantra with someone? Махапрабху первым делом спросил, Ты свои мантры с кем-то обсуждал? Когда-то Пандит говорит, о, да, я с ним дискуссировал. Когда-то Пандит припомнил, да, действительно, я обсуждал свои мантры с кем-то. According to Shastra, your Ishtadev, your Japa Mala, your Diksha Mantra, and the name of your Guru should keep Gopayat. They should be kept hidden. На самом деле Шастра по этому поводу имеет очень строгие предписания, что надо держать в тайне имя своего Гуру, свою Japa Mala, своего Ishtadeva. И также свои дикшаматры. Это должен быть секрет для всех. So because he discussed his mantra with someone, it was offence to the deity of the mantra and the deity had 
flown away. So now he was remembering, but no realization was so Gadada Pandit said, what will I do? Mahaprabhu said, you will have to uh, hear the mantra again. <laughs> Gadada Pandit said, all right then, please tell me again. Tell me the mantra. Mahaprabhu said, no. Not from me. You have to go back to your Diksha Guru, Pundarik Vidyanit. So then, he went to Pundarik Vidyanit and told him his mistake and again received the mantra. And then, again when he was remembering, his realization was manifest. <laughs> so, when Mahababu was here in Puri, after some time, he expressed a desire to go to Vrindavan. It is said that in Puri, Mahaprabhu, he used to realize the Vrindavan, seeing the Yamuna was like ocean, Chattaprabhat was like Govardhan. But still, he wanted to actually go to Vrindavan because there's some Vaishista, some speciality. So, when Mahaprabhu set out, many of his devotees were accompanying him. And they came as far as Narendra Sarovar. And then after that, only a few devotees like Sarvabhom Bhattacharya, Roy Ramananda, and Gadada Pandits, they continued to follow Mahaprabhu. And, but Mahaprabhu, he had wanted to go alone, only on the request of Sarup Damada and Roy Ramananda did he accept that one Brahmin will go with him. So, and Ganada Pandit had made a vow to never leave Jagannath Puri. So, just as Navadip Dham is the shape of a lotus flower, this Jagannath Puri Dham is called Shankakshetra. It is the shape of the, a conch shell. Mm. It is 80 kilometers, 80 miles, sir. And the entrance to that dam is Bhubaneshwara, where Lord Shiva, in the form of Bhubaneshwara Lingaraj, is the Ketrapal, the protector of the entrance into the Shankakshetra. So, if Gadada Pandita will go further than Bhubaneshwara, it means that he's broken his vow of Ketra Sanyas. So, Mahaprabhu saw this, but he didn't say anything. So, 
But when they got as far north as Katak, then Mahaprabhu came on the bank of the Mahanadi river. And he was about to get into a boat to cross and continue north. So he turned to Gadara Pandit. He said, oh, what about your Ketra Sanyas? Гадара Пандит сказал, «To hell with my Ketra Sanyas!» Мама сказал, «But what about the service of Gopinath?» Гадара Пандит сказал, «Simply by seeing you is superior to thousands of services to Gopinath!» So then Mahabhu said, All right, you have done what you have wanted to do. But now you have to go back. The inner meaning is that Mahaprabhu revealed that Gadara Pandit wanted to show him that his devotion wasn't limited by Vidri rules and regulations. It was spontaneous devotion that can transgress rules and regulations. Uh, but because it's a natural devotion, there's no the compromise of the principles of bhakti. Что когда Пандит хотел показать Читанию Махапрабху, что его любовь и преданность не ограничены никакими правильными предписаниями, что он готов перешагнуть через любые каноны, лишь бы служить Читанию Махапрабху, чтобы проявить свою любовь. И Махапрабху ему ответил, что да, я принимаю это, я вижу это. Это очень важный принцип. Unless and until there is a spontaneous taste in following the rag, Of the associates of Radha and Krishna, one must observe all the rules and regulations of Vaidhi Bhakti. The definition of Vaidhi Bhakti, regulative devotional service. For Yatra Ragana Bhaktatvat, a person who has not attained Rag. Rag means The thirst, spontaneous thirst uh, for one's Ishta Deesi Krishna, which itself is the cause of a complete absorption in Him. So, That is only in the eternal associates. That cannot be in the sadhakas in this world. So, in the commentary on this verse, our Goswami is explained. Rataragana Bhaktatvat means that one has not yet attained a ruchi in that rag of the eternal associates. И наши ачари комментируют, поясняют, так как рага не может появиться ни у кого в садаках этого мира, то ачари поясняют, до тех пор, пока у человека не появился вкус к этой спонтанной любви вечных спутников Кришны к этой раге. А, what is that? А что это такое вкус? Not an ordinary thing. Это не есть что-то обычное. It means when you are chanting Hari Nam. Что это? Это когда And you realize the form and the qualities of Sri Krishna. Then, when that is manifest very clearly, then you begin to realize the associates. How the Sakis of Radhika, they are like the Vigra, they are the embodiments 
of the mystic power of Radha Krishna's own love for each other, serving them with unblinking eyes to so with so much taste. И затем вы увидите, как в Франции вот это повторение джапы, как приближенные всякие пастушки Радхи и Кришны, как они служат Радхи и Кришне, с какой любовью, с какой концентрацией внимания, и как они сами являются проявлением, вот это, мистическим проявлением взаимной любви Радхи и Кришны друг к другу. И даже если вы увидите это, осознаете, это все равно еще не будет спартанным предным служением. To the particular service of one associate, and you have taste in their rag, now you enter into raga nuga bhakti. And before that stage, one's engagement in hearing, chanting, remembering all things is uh, impelled by and under the jurisdiction, the authority of scriptural regulations. In that stage, if there will be a neglect of rules and regulations, it will be a fault. Потому что до того, как если еще не появилось ручье, этот вкус, и вы пренебрегаете правильными предписаниями, то это уже оскорбительное поведение с вашей стороны. But once the taste in the rag comes, then there's no fault at all, because the purpose of all the rules and regulations is to have that taste in the rag. That's what the regulations are for, just to give some shape to your expression of devotion before it becomes spontaneous. And to prevent the devotee from becoming lax and uh, wandering into unmeritorious activities. So, Mahabhu said, oh, you have shown, you have done what you wanted to do, that is to show how the Raga Mai Bhakti, it uh, can transgress the rules and regulations without any compromise of it, the integrity of bhakti itself. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, you want to come with me to Vrindavan? You want to come for your happiness or for my happiness? So though Gadana Pandit gave answers, he refuted the previous words of Mahaprabhu. When he heard this, then his voice was choked and he could not give a reply. Why? Why? Because even though Raghunuga Bhakti is beyond the jurisdictions of rules and regulations, Mariada, etiquette, but it has its own internal mariada, and that is that the lover will never impose his own desire upon the object of love. 
but he will always do what is the desire of the object of love. This is the one Mariada of Ramanuga Bhakti. So, Gaudara Pandit couldn't give an answer to that. And then Mahaprabhu stepped onto the boat. And as the boat began to float away, there, then on the spot, Gadada Pandit fainted. Sarva Bhattacharya Ramananda Rai, they took care of him and then returned him to here, to the temple of Dr. Gopinath. So, when Mahaprabhu stayed in Puri, he used to at night relish the pastimes of Krishna in the Gambira with Rai Ramananda and Nsorup Damanaga Swami. In the day, he used to dance and sing and have darshan of Lord Jagannath. And at night, he would relish bhakti rasa, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, Geet, Govinda, Krishna Kanam, Rita, the poetry of Vidyapati and uh, Chandidas and Ramananda Rai with his two internal associates. So, in the daytime also, Mahaprabhu used to come here to Yameshwar Tote and sit with his associates and listen to Gadada Pandit explains Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a most astonishing Lila. You see, Gadada Pandit, that means Radharani in the form of Gadada Pandit, is teaching Krishna, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all about Radhika's praying. In Krishna Lila, Krishna is greedy, very eager to know about Radhika's love, but Radharani cannot explain her love to him. Because love, brain is like a lamp which is uh, shining, the flame is shining steadily in the heart and the light shines out through the eyes and the face. And it cannot be spoken because if the mouth will open, then the wind of pride may blow in and blow it out. So love can never be expressed directly. Hmm? Once there was a man and he very much liked to eat. 
пример можно привести одного мужчины, который обожал был гурманом, любил покушать. So his friend invited him to come to his house. И его друг пригласил его к себе домой. And when he arrived there, he saw his friend was in the kitchen, and he was preparing all of his favorite preparations. И когда этот вечно голодный дядечка произошел дом друга, он увидел, что тот возится на кухне, очень занят и готовит по совпадению все его любимые блюда там. So yes. Oh, what are you doing? Он спросил, а что ты там делаешь? So then that person he was cutting. И вот друг Nothing. резал овощи, сказал, да ничего не делаю. And he made all the preparations, offered them to Krishna, then put them down before his friend. And then his friend was eating and the two of them, without words, they were both feeling so much love and affection. Now just consider, if the person who was cooking had said, well, you know, I went shopping here and there for so many days to get all these ingredients and I'm, I'm making all your favorite preparations. <laughs> Подробно описывает, что уже несколько дней на, на пролет я бегаю по всем магазинам, чтобы найти все нужные ингредиенты, чтобы приготовить все твои любимые блюда и накормить тебя теперь. Then, then the, the rasa of that exchange becomes deflated. Это тут же этот шарик расы был то есть там уже не было никакого вкуса, все было бы как-то скучно. But when the person dissimulates the situation, he pretends he's doing something else, but then gives and doesn't say anything. Then inside the two of them, they're relishing their <laughs> deep love for each other. So in Krishna Lila, Radharani, she cannot express her, how she feels for Krishna. And then Krishna, he cannot, he cannot know how she feels. И поэтому аналогичным образом в Кришна Лилах Радика не может Кришне поведать о своей любви к Нему. И поэтому Кришна всегда, и поэтому ему никогда не удается узнать о любви Радики. So, Prada Maya in Navadvip, or he in Puri, Bimala Devi, Ekanangsa, so she arranges this special Lila where Krishna's desire to understand Radhika's love can be fulfilled. Because now Krishna is a sannyasi. And Radharani is a pundit. And the sannyasi is going to the Bhagavatam class of the pundit to listen to Shri Krishna cannot say to Radharani, that time when I hid from you during the Rasa Lila and you were crying, how did you feel at that time? Radharani cannot explain. But now, as the scholars of Srimad Bhagavatam, they can sit down. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 31. Today, text 19. Everyone can chant. Yate Sujata Chadana Guru Amstanish and Gadana Pandit can explain everything. <laughs> On the pretext of Bhagavatam class, so the Ras does not go down, Ras is going up. Krishna in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is listening. Oh, so that's how Radharani was feeling. 
теперь начинает узнавать все подробности, эмоции своей матери родики. А ага, вот что на самом деле она испытывала в этот момент. So just as a student goes to college during the day and then does homework during the night, Mahapu was studying here from Gadala Pandit during the day, and then what he learned in the day he would practice at night in the Gambia. Homework. So one day, after hearing beautiful guitar of Gadara Pandit, Mahaprabhu was wandering in the orchard here. You know, after Hari Kata, don't get up and start talking about whatever. Just be quiet and relish it again and again. Bumirao Parabasi ni janaki bumilike Ashuganga netre bohe kichu inadeke Mapu sat down on the ground and he was writing in the sand with his uh, finger and he could not even see so many tears were coming from his eyes like the Ganges flowing. So, writing in the sand is one of the symptoms of separation, heroin in separation. So, as he moved the sand, his hand touched something. And then he got up and he went to Gadara Pandit. Oh Gadadhar, will you accept something? Yes, of course. I want to give you my heart. Then he brought Gadara Pandit to that place and they began to move the sand. And there was the and Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu gave this deity to, to Gadara Pandits and from that day Gadara Pandit served him. So just now in a few minutes we're going there to have the darshan of that opening. What is Vigraha? Vigraha is not a statue. Vigraha is not a statue. V means Vishesh Rupena, especially. V means Vishesh Rupena, especially. Graha means Grahana, to accept. Graha means to accept. So the form of Krishna who appears especially to accept our service is Vigra. How does Vigra appear in this world? He may be self-manifest or Vaishnava may carve him Whichever way it is, actually both are really, because Krishna's form is a Swatta Siddha, always self-manifest. Only by our material vision we think he's being carved. He's just using the artist, the artisan, to remove the stone, but he was already there. So this Gopinath is self-manifest. But the Bigra is always manifest from the heart of a pure Vaishnava. It means that when a great Vaishnava in their trance 
чистый вашнав в трансе видит объект своего поклонения, определенную форму к Вишне и поставить. Everyone should serve him. So from the heart of that Vaishnava, that form of Krishna manifests outwardly so that he can engage everyone in serving his Ishtadev, that is called Bigraha. Understand this tattva, never go by the appearances, this is a statue or idol. There is a heaven and hell difference between appearance and vastu, substance. So if we consider Vigra Tattva in this way, that the Vigra manifests outwardly for all to see from the heart of the pure Vaishnava, then we can have some insight into the identity of Tota Gopinath. Why did Krishna appear in this world as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Sri Radhaya Panaya Mahima Kidisho Vamadiya Swadyo Yen Adbuta Madurima Kidisho Vamadiya the second of his three reasons was to taste, to realize the sweetness of Sri Krishna that only Radhika could experience on the strength of her praying. You know, Kamsa Maharaj can see Krishna. But he cannot see how sweet Krishna is because he doesn't have love. Oh, the coward boys see the sweetness of Krishna. Mother Yashoda sees Krishna even more sweet. The gopis see Krishna is even more sweet. Among them, Chandravali sees Krishna sweeter than others. But, Ei prema dware nitya radhikare kali amara madhurya amrita ashwade sakali Krishna said, only Radharani through her love tastes my, the nectar of my sweetness completely. So, the appearance of Dr. Gopinath, the inner significance is that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Krishna, hearing from Gadara Pandit Radharani, by hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, he was realizing the sweetness of Sri Krishna through the eyes of Radhika and that form of Krishna only seen through the eyes of Radhika appeared in his heart and then manifested outside as Gopinath. So, just like the postgraduate student is studying so much and then has to present his doctoral thesis. So in the same way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Krishna was studying so much about the Bhav of Radhika from Gadada Pandit and then when he realized the beauty of Krishna through her eyes, then Gopinath manifested and that was his thesis he presented to his professor. Doctorскую диссертацию профессорам, то личным образом читание Махапрабху после 
долгого обучения под руководством Гададара Панди достает свою докторскую диссертацию в форме вот этой вигра и тота кабината. Because Krishna has these three types of greed to know the greatness of Radhika's love, to taste the sweetness in Krishna that only she experiences and the happiness she feels when she tastes that sweetness. So Radhika can never be fully pleased, fully satisfied unless and until all of Krishna's desires are fulfilled. So that moment took place when Gopinath manifest and Mahaprabhu gave to Gadada Pandit. So Krishna's three desires were fulfilled and Radharani was satisfied that the Praman was there. <laughs> сильными желаниями познать высоту любви Шри Матери Радики, осознать ту сладость, которую именно она воспринимает в Кришне и видит лишь только она в нем во всей полноте, и испытать ту радость, которую она испытывает, любя его. И так как смысл жизни Радики это исполнять все желания Кришны, поэтому когда допадет был неописуемое счастье, когда вот это он понял, что Махапрабху исполнил свои три желания, и доказательством этого было это мигра, которая только пинает, что он принес этого Кришну. So и сейчас вы отправитесь в этот храм и увидите докторскую самого читания Махапрабху Кришны. His own beauty through the eyes of Radhika. То есть это Кришна, красота Кришны, каким он воспринимается Шримати Радикой. Because before Krishna appeared as Mahaprabhu, he was thinking that my vigra, my form, gives beauty and happiness to the whole creation. I am the cause of all causes. All joy comes from me. Who could give joy to me? Only someone a hundred times more qualified than me could give me joy. But because I am the source of everyone, how could anyone be more qualified than me? But Krishna thought, oh, in Radhika, in the daughter of Vrishwabhana Maharaj, I miraculously see a person who is infinitely more qualified than me. Where did she come from? Кришна сидел в раздуме, он не понимал, он думает, ну вот в лице Шимати Радики, дочери Вришабана Махараджи, я вижу личность, которая, мне кажется, превосходит меня сто крат в удивительных качествах, в красоте и талантах. Как это может, как это могло происходить, произойти? I become mad when I hear the sound of her voice. I become intoxicated when I taste the nectar of her lips. I become the completely in ecstasy feeling her cooling touch. Mm. I become attracted uh, by the fragrance of her beautiful form. But when she sees, touches, tastes, and uh, takes my fragrance, then she becomes more mad. So the first contradiction is if I am the source of everything, how can she be more qualified than me? And the second paradox is if she's more qualified than me, then I should be more attracted to her than she is to me. But she is more attracted to me than I am to her. What to speak of becoming mad when she hears the sound of my flute? If she only hears the wind blowing through the bamboo trees in Govardhan, 
Then she thinks, oh, Krishna is calling me and runs there. It's madness. What to speak of tasting the nectar of my lips? If her sakis just give her some of my remnant chewed tumble, then when she tastes that, she sinks into ocean of Ananda. What to speak of seeing my Shama Sundar form? Only seeing a Tamal tree, she mistakes it for me and embraces the tree and thinks, oh, now my whole life is successful. So she is not only more attracted to me than I am to her, she is more attracted to things which aren't even me. They just resemble me. So this is the second paradox. So Krishna, you know, he is Bhagavan, he has all knowledge. But this he cannot figure it out. Krishna was thinking about it for a long time. <coughs> and then he finally came to a conclusion. Ah. The only answer can be this. There must be some quality in me that I don't know about. That only she can see. And I cannot see it in myself. What is that? But unless I can experience her love, I will not be able to see it. So we heard in Navadvip how Jairam Goswami said, Krishna bowed down at the feet of Radhika and said, please decorate my head with your lotus feet. So if you want to realize the bhakti that someone has, you have to become their disciple. So this bowing of Krishna at the feet of Radhika, oh, this is to fulfill his desire to realize these three greeds. Krishna said, Radhika Prema Guru Ami Shishana Amar Sadhana Nritya Nacha Udmat The Prema of Radhika is my Guru. Krishna says that love of Radhika is my Guru. It makes me dance newer and newer dances. So one of those dances is Rasalila. Yeah? And one of those new dances that Radhika's love makes Krishna dance is called Gauralila. So when Krishna bowed down at the feet of Radhika. Then she blessed him to realize her brain. And he appeared in this world as Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And when by tasting Radhika's love, he saw, he discovered the qualities in himself that he could not see in himself in Krishna Lila, then that form, the vigor of Krishna seen by Radhika appeared in his heart, then manifest outwardly as told to Gopinata. Jaya Radha Gopinata Radha Gopinata